every night that blood for the trust. Wanted to be like Mike, I wanted to be like Mitch. Okay, so I know that I said that I was going to film everything that I put in my cart, but as I was going through the store, I realized that that's not the best way to do this video. I think that this will be the better way to do this video. We're going to go through everything that I got right now. Um, I actually just went to Trader Joe's. They had everything that I needed, which made it super simple, super easy, super nice. So let's go through what I got. So this massive Trader Joe haul with everything here that's going to give me enough food for lunch and dinner for the entire week, if not a little bit more than a week, probably more than a week, only cost $36.63. Now this is a lot of food for me to eat. Like this is going to fill me up regularly and I'm pretty excited about it because I didn't know Trader Joe's had all this stuff and I didn't know that they had it for this inexpensive. Um, I tried to go with some of the more expensive stuff, honestly, like the tahini I usually wouldn't get, um, tofu I don't usually get, I'm probably not going to get it again, I just want to see if I could actually cook with it, but all these veggies, like a bell pepper is like 69 cents, these broccoli florets are like, I think this pack was $1.80, the carrots were 79 cents each, each one of these black bean things are... I think they were 99 cents each. The spinach was $1.99. I'm gonna throw that in smoothies too. Each bag of these tortillas, I think there's 10 tortillas per bag. That's 20 tortillas for $2.98. It is crazy how much stuff you can actually get from Trader Joe's. So while I'm getting my food ready, I wanted to just chat with you guys about my actual diet. So pretty much, Growing up as a kid, the only thing that I really liked to eat was bean burritos. I love bean burritos a ton. They're my favorite food. Um, and I say bean burritos because when I was younger, I pretty much ate just beans, rice, and cheese. That was my diet of choice. I loved it. So, now that I'm on my own, I'm basically recreating that same diet. I love eating burritos. It's my favorite food by far. I love Mexican food. Um, it's delicious. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just do. Also, check this out. There's a mini bell pepper inside this bell pepper. What? Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. That's sweet. Anyways, so basically I'm just recreating my diet that I had when I was a kid. Um, obviously much healthier now because I'm incorporating vegetables that I didn't used to eat into my diet. So usually I wouldn't eat broccoli, usually I wouldn't eat these bell peppers. I never used to eat onions, I never used to eat anything like that. So now I eat a considerable amount more of vegetables. But still the basis for the burrito is basically the same. I have black beans which are a good source of protein and iron as I said. It's also the easiest and fastest for me to prepare. I just basically make fajita veggies one day a week. So I have veggies for the rest of the week to put in my burritos. That takes about, this will probably take about 10 minutes to do. The majority of my food is just gonna be a burrito. And that sounds weird, but I actually get everything that I need to get from those burritos. So why did I choose to go vegetarian? Well, I read this book called Every 13 Seconds, I think is what it's called. I'll post, I'll actually put the title right where I'm talking about this now, but the, and that book got me thinking about my diet and what I eat and how that impacts the world. Being vegan obviously has the greatest impact on the environment, the species that you're eating, um, and just in general is probably the healthiest and best way for us as humans to make a difference in the world today. Um, if you were to look at the research on what the industry behind meat is doing with the meat that you're actually eating, the dairy that you're actually consuming, and the amount of fossil, or not fossil fuels, the amount of 
pollution that's going into the air, the environment, the water system, everything, it's kind of, I think that you would quickly understand why I choose to not eat meat. Um, if you're not studied in the subject, you assume, how are you going to get enough protein if you don't eat meat? It's way too expensive to be vegan or vegetarian. Like, you have no concept. It's just, you're, you haven't been exposed to it. And I was at that point at one time as well. And through learning about it, and through talking with people that have had different experiences and all that stuff, I learned that you really don't need meat to have a protein. I have beans and I have soy is one substitute, but not necessarily the best substitute. But basically you just get your protein through other sources. And then the argument about it being expensive, if I would have bought a bunch of meat and not bought vegetables and I would have gone and bought like stuff with lasagna or like super like saturated fats or like really high carbohydrate stuff, it's going to be way more expensive than $36. Or if I'm going to go and not, sorry, this is kind of blown out. And if I'm going to not prepare my own food, I'm going to spend even more money because you're, you're wasting your money on other people preparing it for you. So I choose to do it this way. I'm not saying that it's the best way, but I think that if you don't know anything about being vegan or vegetarian, you should look into it. Um, if you're younger, talk to your parents about it. If you're a grown adult, you should really look into it and consider just switching up a couple of your meals a week even makes a big difference. Um, I'm not telling you that you should, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't, but I just want to voice my opinion on the subject. But I think that you guys are legitimately interested in what I'm eating on a daily basis because me being a decathlete, I'm not just a distance runner that is trying to cut a bunch of weight. I still need to be able to throw the shot put, the jab, pole vault, high jump, long jump to be able to do these events at a high level. To do that, I need to have maximum protein and I'm trying to stay as lean as possible so that I can run that 1500. So basically this diet works out perfect for me and I really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my two cents on the vegan vegetarian thing. So after I'm done cutting up the vegetables, I then throw them into a frying pan and from the frying pan they turn into fajita veggies they just get all cooked up nice and delicious I throw some taco seasoning on top basically I don't use actual taco seasoning I use cumin paprika a um, little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and then um, some pepper flakes just cook it down until they're at a consistency a little bit charred is what I like um, and then I just put them in the fridge and store them for the next time I want a burrito I like to try and have my food so that I can prepare it as quickly as possible. So I have cooked everything today and then I put it in little glass Tupperware, put it in the fridge, put it all together in a tortilla, throw it in the microwave, heat it up, and that's my food. And I love it. It's just, it's so good. But for lunch, um, and that's why I have all these carrots here, for lunch I like to make little um, hummus wraps. Hummus is a great, like, that's why I have the tahini. I make my own hummus, or tahini. I make my own hummus. So garbanzo beans, huge source of protein, seven grams of protein per serving of this. And trust me, you're gonna eat more than one serving. Always, I always do. And is it pretty much all this food, you never have to worry about, oh, did I cook it long enough? Is that gonna kill me if I eat it? Because everything that I eat on a daily basis, you could eat totally raw. If you're judging me for eating tofu instead of meat, have you ever been to Chipotle and have you ever gotten their sofritas? So go to Chipotle, next time they ask you for what your protein you want, order sofritas. Anyways, I hope that you guys will at least watch this video and understand that you don't need meat in your life to be strong, to be powerful. Okay, so it's currently dinner time in the Modine household. Um, we have the fajita veggies that I cooked earlier. We have the black beans that I got from Trader Joe's. And we have some leftover, this is um, field roast crumble. So it's a uh, vegan, like essentially just ground beef, but it's vegan. Then we have our soy cheese, um, cheese alternative. 
Then just regular tortillas, two tortillas. Then I add my beans. Next we have the fajita veggies that we cooked earlier. So I got the beans, the fajita veggies, and the beef-like crumble. Now we're gonna throw some of this uh, not so cheesy cheese on top. So I basically have everything prepared and already everything's already cooked. Like I said, you can eat this raw if you really wanted to, but I just like to be able to make two burritos, throw them in the microwave, throw two minutes on the clock, let them cook, and then I chill out, eat my dinner at my desk while I'm either editing one of these videos, that's what I'm gonna be doing now, or I'm just watching some YouTube or Twitch or something, or I'm trying to learn about personal training. Also, I never told you guys, but I am officially a certified personal trainer. I got my certification about a week ago. Anyways, uh, that's gonna be the end of today's video, because uh, I'm gonna continue to eat these. I'm gonna go sit down at the desk. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning what I eat on a daily basis. It's not something that you guys probably expected. Um, I think that it's probably the simplest way for me to eat and as far as what people should eat, I get questions about people wondering what their nutrition habits should be and I think that if you can find something that you enjoy eating, so I enjoy eating burritos, and it gives you the sustenance that you need, so do your research, know the nutrients that you need and know the nutrients and vitamins that you're getting from the food that you're putting into your body. Pay attention to your diet, but as long as you're getting the nutrients that you need, I don't think that you really need to focus on, like, don't think too much about your diet is what I'm trying to say. I'm choosing to be vegetarian, vegan. I think that you guys should too, but I'm not saying that it is better for your health. I'm saying that it's better for the environment that has research behind it, but you can do what you want to do and that's totally fine because you are your own person and I want you to make your own decisions and learn from them. So I'm learning right now from my decisions with my food and oddly enough you're learning as well but that all works out. And I just realized that this shot was super blown out so I apologize about that but anyways remember be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast. I have some big news coming up soon that I'm gonna need your guys' help with, legitimately need your guys' help with. So I think that, and I'm talking about like big news. I'm not talking about like, guys I got some big, I'm talking about I got some big news coming up that I need your guys' help with. So, stay tuned. And share these videos, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do because we need to grow this channel and you'll, you'll, you guys will find out soon. I'm pumped, you guys should be pumped too. Okay, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.